So the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to put pistons in this. Now, the pistons, the rods have been stamped so that you can tell where the rod is supposed to go. This one is number one, which means it's gonna go right here, okay? And the pistons have an arrow on them that points towards the front of the crankshaft. So this piston's gonna go in this direction. We need to install bearings in it. Now, the piston is going to have a bit of movement in between it. Now we want this to seal up really tightly, so we are going to put piston rings on our pistons. I'm only gonna show you putting on one set of rings. I'm not gonna show you all eight sets. Okay, you can see that our rings are numbered. We've got a number one ring, which means top groove. We've got a number two ring, which means second groove. And we've actually got two packages of number three, which are both third groove, okay? Now, there are a couple of different styles of rings that goes on the lower groove. So, you take the piston, you can see that the wide groove down here, that's going to be the oil control groove. Okay, and these are both going to be compression grooves. Now, when we install these rings, we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. So I'm gonna open these packages. And you can see that in the first number three package, we have a bunch of rings. In the second number three package, we're going to have the spacer. All right, so when we put these oil control rings together, we need to make sure that these pieces where they come together are facing up towards the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this spacer in first. And then we are going to take one of these rings. So we're gonna start this down here on the bottom. And we're gonna try to stay away from this connection with our grooves. We don't want all of our connections to be in the same spot. We're gonna run that ring around and try and not bend them very much. And this takes a ring on the bottom And it takes the second ring on the top. So the second ring is going to be marked. It's marked right here. Let's see if I can get enough light on it so that you guys can see where it says top. Now that goes towards the top of the piston, okay? Now with this ring, we're going to use this ring expander Going to put that top facing up. And we're going to expand this ring so that it fits over the piston. And that'll go down in the second groove. Now the top ring does not have a mark on it. And it's designed where it's built the same on both sides. So we will expand it. And that goes in the top groove. Now before we put these in, what we wanna do, is we wanna make sure that all of the grooves are pointed away from each other. So I'm going to find the very bottom ring and I'll find the groove and it's right there. And I'm gonna put it right in line with this black right here. Now I'm gonna take the second ring and I'm gonna go completely opposite of that bottom ring. And then I'm gonna take the, the second groove ring and I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna take the top ring 
and I'm gonna put it right there exactly opposite of it. Okay, now I'm gonna install the rest of these rings off camera, and then when we start to install them in the cylinders, we'll bring you back. Okay, so I've got these pistons ready to go. We are going to install one piston on camera. Um, so the first thing that we wanna do is install the rod bearings. Now again, these rod bearings are gonna have a tab on them that set them into the rod. And we're going to look, and this is the way it faces forward. Now, if you look in here, you can see that this bearing sets off to one side. It leaves us a space on this other side over here. Now that space is so that we clear the crankshaft. The crankshaft has a rounded edge on it. And this is so that it can clear that so that the bearing doesn't try to ride against the crankshaft. Now, these tabs are going to face the same direction. So this tab and this tab are going to be on the same side. So the cap's gonna go on it like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of oil and I'm gonna run it down in this first cylinder so that we get that lubricated. Now when you do this, you sometimes wind up with oil all over the place. I'm also gonna take this piston and I'm just gonna soak it down inside of this oil for a minute. Now while that's soaking, I'm going to put a little bit of assembly lube on the cap and on the connecting rod so that we can put this together. And then I am going to get a ring compressor so that we can compress the piston rings so that they go into the cylinder. So this ring compressor has some little bevels on it so that it'll hold itself outside of the cylinder wall and won't try and go down inside of there. Now I'm going to take these rubber hoses and I'm going to put them on these rod bolts to protect our cylinder and our crankshaft from getting scratched. And then I'm gonna take this and dump the oil out of it. We are gonna wind up getting some oil on the floor. And I've put a pan underneath of my engine in order to try and avoid some of that. I'm going to install this ring compressor on this piston. And then we're going to tighten this up. So that it compresses the rings against the piston. Okay, so we've installed this ring compressor. We've pushed this piston down into the cylinder and I've got these hoses on each side of that crankshaft rod journal. And then we're going to make sure that everything's down snug. Keep it down snug. We're going to tap that piston into the cylinder. Now we're going to spin this engine. And we'll pull these hoses off. Make sure that our tabs are facing the same direction. Put our connecting rod on, our rod cap on. Now I had these rods reconditioned while this was at the machine shop. And when they did that, they put new 
rod bolts in it as well. Now we need to look up the torque specification for this nut. So we're going to go back to our computer. We're going to go into our engine specifications and connecting rod cap is 40 to 45. So we're going to torque these at 45. We'll take our torque wrench and set it to 45. And then as we tighten this, we're going to work our way back and forth so that we pull this rod together equally. Once we fill them snug up, then we'll go ahead and torque them. Now I'm going to install the rest of these pistons off camera. And uh, when we get them all installed, we're going to go ahead and come back. Um, after I install each piston, I'm going to turn this crankshaft a bit just to make sure that everything is still turning freely. And also to line my crankshaft up for the next piston. So the number two piston is going to be here in three and four. This is a Ford engine, so they number it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the next piston that I put in will be number five. All right, guys, so we've got all of the pistons and rods torqued down and, and put in place in here. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the oil pump. Now, the oil pump has this drive rod that runs down through here and comes up into the oil pump right here. And this is what drives this oil pump. Now, the distributor goes down in from the top of the engine and the camshaft makes contact with this gear right here. And this distributor comes down and that's how we turn the oil pump. So it has this little clip on right here to keep it from falling down or coming out when you pull the distributor. And so we've got to make sure that we put that facing the right direction. Now, we've got this gasket that goes between the block and the oil pump. And then we're going to run our oil pump down in here, making sure that we get the drive rod down in the proper hole down in there. And then we will take our oil pump bolts and install them. Now this one on this side is a little close, makes it a little bit tricky. And then we're going to look up the torque specifications for that. All right, so the torque on these oil pump bolts is 32 foot pounds. We'll set our torque wrench at 32. And we'll torque this down. And then we're going to put in the oil pickup tube. Now that sits up here. And it bolts to the oil pump. Again, we have a gasket we put in between here. Now the torque for these is 15 foot-pounds. We'll set our wrench to 15. And we'll torque these down. And it takes this nut right here to hold this in place. And the torque on that, again, is 32. So we'll set our torque wrench back to 32. Now we'll torque that down. Okay, there's the oil pump. 